guys, today I want to share with you some basic information about gold filled metal and how to work with it. If you want to create gold jewelry but can't invest in solid gold, which is much more expensive, gold filled metal might be an option for you. This term refers to a material on which a layer of gold has been bonded by fusing. This means that a solid layer of gold, at least 10, 12 or 14 carats, has been mechanically bonded with pressure and heat to a base metal, usually sterling silver or brass. This technique provides much thicker layer than gold plating and is more resistant to wear. Also, the color is of actual gold. Now that we know a bit more about this metal, let's see how to solder it. I'm using solid gold solder for soldering because that gives me better finish and even color. A tiny piece of 2-3 cm is enough. Soldering gold filled metal is different to sterling silver where you must heat up the entire piece evenly for the solder to flow. With gold filled you are only heating up the area that will be soldered and you need to do this very carefully move the flame on and off. Overheating will cause the copper to come to the surface. As you can see, I prefer to use solder pick technique, which means I melt the solder first, then pick it up with the solder pick and place it on the join. I'm very careful not to overheat the metal. Let's see again on this earring. I'm quickly drying up the flux and then use the same technique to place the solder. With tiny pieces like this, it's hard not to heat up the entire thing, but try to be very careful and point your flame only on the join. There we go. Now quench it in cold water and pickle. Pickling is another important part. Try not to use the same solution as for silver. You need a separate solution. If you put silver and gold filled with exposed ends that have been cut in the same pickle, silver will get plated from copper from the gold filled metal and will turn orange. Trust me, I tried it. After you're done with soldering, sand and polish as usual. Just be careful not to remove too much of gold layer when sanding. And that's all for this video. I hope this information was useful. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video if you did and I will see you soon. Bye!